morning, guys. Too good? Thank you. How much are your Clark shoes now? Oh, the Clark one. Oh, there he was. Um, uh, for £10. No, they are brand new, they should be good, sir. Okay. Um, that's where I'll leave them for now. Thank you. Cheers. Sorry, mate, how much are your shoes here? How much are they? Well, oh, mate, uh, well, the lady wants a tenner for it, mate. Ten? Yeah. Mm. As far as knowing. No. Well, yes, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My, my son bought right. a pair. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> you, 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 Let's you, see that one. Uh, <laughs> on here. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> it says. Uh, you go seven on them? You go seven? No, 10. 10 your best, is it? Yeah. Oh, I might come back. Cheers. Yeah, okay. Thank you. As you would have just seen in the uh, footage just then, I did actually get a little bit of car boot footage yesterday, but obviously I put the camera away after like 10 minutes because I didn't find anything. There was about three rows of cars with hardly anything at all. And then literally as I put my camera away in my pocket, wasn't really ready to film at all. Um, all the cars kept coming in and I did actually find some decent stuff. So I'm gonna go over with you now what I found at the car boot and we'll go from there. We'll start off with the boards down here, which are these penny boards, of course. If you know the brand, you'll know these are worth some decent money, especially brand new. Uh, these ones, of course, pre-owned, quite heavily used. I can't actually take credit for the purple one. This was given to me by James from uh, Bold Finds. He saw me pick this one up for two pound I think he paid £3 for this one, he said, <clears throat> and he actually just gifted it to me just because he's a good mate of mine and, yeah, helping out a fellow reseller. <laughs> so very kind of him. Thank you, James. Uh, hope that I'll resell that, get some good money for it, and I'll buy you a coffee. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, these two here should probably sell £20 to £25. I usually take the wheels off, give the bearings a good clean up, uh, give the decks a good clean and the trucks and everything like that, make sure all the little washers aren't disintegrated, and, yeah, Clean them up, take good clear photos, 20, 25 pound. Of course, good better condition, I've managed to get 35 to 40 before in pre-owned. So yeah, one to look out for. And next up we have this here, which is a Thomas, it's like a vintage Thomas uh, lampshade. Without, well, not, not a lampshade, a lamp, I mean. Um, without the lampshade and a bulb. I did test that. I haven't actually power tested it yet with a bulb, but it's quite cool. It's a little bit little like paint chippings on it. It has got a charity shop sh sticker on there of three pound. It's pat tested, so it's past the pat test. I think I paid a pound for that yesterday. Uh, I'll be happy with 10 to 15 on it. Not expecting much. It's got a date on here for 1986. We've got these two watches here. It's quite a cool little one there. Unfortunately, the screen is a bit damaged. I don't really know why I picked it up really. If the screen's damaged, then I'm probably not gonna resell it. I might just keep it for myself, put it on display or something. Paid a pound for that little it's not retro, it's 2018, uh, of course, the retro look Game Boy. Uh, but these, I didn't actually realise, but in good working condition, 20, 25 pound on them. But of course, this one's broken. I might I might still battery test it and make sure it does work. Maybe try and resell it, get 10 to 15 for it. But the screen, you can see there, it's got a big old scratch or crack. Yeah, I think it's actually a crack. So I'll probably just put it on display, keep it for myself. Paid a pound for that. And then this little Casio here. Vintage Casio. Believe it or not, these are actually quite popular. You see quite a few people still wearing these sort of watches. If you find the ones with the actual calculator and the sort of buttons underneath the screen, 
you're looking at sort of I think fifty pound upwards. Uh, these this one here though is just a basic version, fifteen to twenty on that probably. Again, I only pay two pound for that one, and you can see on the on the screen there, if I can get it in the light, it is actually working and ticking away. So happy days, nice and easy sale. Trying to get more into watches when I do see them, I try and pick them up if they're the right kind. Next up, we've got this one here, which is a Emirates fold away backpack. I think it's probably a free gift you get on the plane if you fly with Emirates. Paid a pound for it, it's got the tag on it. I figured it's got to be worth at least five to ten pounds. So uh, I have just checked sold, and I think ten pounds will now show you on the screen. But yeah, I haven't actually took out the bag yet. I think it is simply, yeah, it folds into its own bag. There we go. Simple little bag. Quite cool. So yeah, not bad from a pound. Sort of bread and butter item, keeps the money flowing in, low investment, it's not much of a risk if it goes wrong. A Sony cassette recorder, I think. Cassette recorder, yeah, TCM 939. It's got the power cable with it, of course that's what you look for, if it's got the power cable then hopefully it works. I mean you've got the batteries there, which it does take as well, make sure you check these when you're in the field, make sure they're not all damaged. Of course I checked these and made sure they hadn't blown up. So that's all good, paid a pound for that, and hopefully get 15 to 20 for that one. So again, bread and butter. I picked up these two wine bottle holders here. So that one's a Merlot one, and this one is unbranded. But it's a wooden box, really actually quite a nice design, nice clasp on there. They are really popular at the moment, I find. I've been selling lots of these recently. So I just figured, yeah, I might as well pick them up. That one was four pound. And the Merlot one I paid £2 for. Both double double wine bottle holders. You can get single ones, but I think double is a bit more popular. There we go, good condition. Sort of wooden wooden framed in there. And a sort of leather sort of wrap around there. Nice clean condition. I think it's missing one of the little tabs on the bottom, but it shouldn't really affect the asking price. Again, I haven't checked solds on this, but I'll quickly check them now, show them on the screen if there is any, and we'll see what we can get for it. And next we have these... Marvel vans, which are quite cool. I paid seven pounds for them. He wanted ten, which was a bit rich, I thought. So I offered him seven. He took it. Uh, what to look out for on these? Obviously, make sure the little tag there isn't worn away. Make sure there's no peeling coming from the ends here on the heel. And yeah, I mean they're a bit grubby, but after a clean up, I think these will kind of be brand new, pretty much. Uh, I mean they do still have the little sticker on the insole in there which isn't worn away. So that's quite a good sign. They haven't really been worn too heavily. Yeah, so hopefully 25 to 30 on them. Again, I haven't really checked solds, but I paid seven pound and my, I'm sure my seven pound will be safe in that. Yeah, a bit of a weird one here. I paid 10 pound for the lot. It's a sort of bundle of horse riding equipment. Um, you've got these here, which I genuinely have no idea what they are. I've just took one out and it's kind of like Velcro there, then it unravels and you've got a long strip of material. Quite soft, no idea what it is, looks brand new. You've got four in the case, so if you can tell me what it is in the comments, that'd be much appreciated. Uh, I'm ho hopefully there's some value to it. But I picked it up because of the helmet here, which came with it. So remember I paid 10 pound for the lot. Uh, the helmet, it's nothing special, it's decathlon horse riding equestrian helmet. Uh, I've checked sold 20, maybe 25 on that. It's quite a nice condition. All the foam on the inner looks to be in nice condition. It's not, not worn away at all. And the main reason I got them was these Firefoot boxed box shoes, brand new condition. Uh, again, not an amazing brand. They come with these here, which says Super Grip on there, which maybe goes round the leg. I'm not too sure. But the boots, I'll check soles again. But you can see they're size seven. They're completely unworn. They got the original box. I think my £10 pretty safe in the helmet and the boots themselves. Even if I sell these for like £15, still plenty of profit. They're lovely, um, yeah, horse riding boots. So again, I've mentioned in my previous videos, horse riding gear. A lot of it pops up at the car boot sales because people, it's kind of like a part-time hobby. They do it for a little bit, then they just give it up. Uh, so they get rid of it all at the car boots and then us resellers go and swoop in and grab all the good gear. <laughs> Next up, this guy I've brought from tons of times throughout the years. I paid him... He wanted £10 each, I ended up paying £18 for the two items, which are these two here. If you recognise this box, you'll know it's a it's a Chimera uh, remote control magic wand. I opened it up, had a look inside, 
it's all brand new, brand new with the box and instructions. Basically, you somehow link this link this wand to your TV, and you can pretty much just like point it at the uh, TV and change channels. So these, surprisingly, actually have a good market. I've sold one once before. I paid a fiver for it, maybe sold it for like 35, but this one brand new, hopefully, hopefully you're getting a uh, 40 to 45 pound for it. Again, I'll show you sold on the screen and just double check that. I could, it could be a bit, bit less, don't know what the market's like at the moment. Last time I sold one was probably about two years ago. This was the other pickup from him. So I paid nine pound each for the two. This one, quite a nice one. It's a Barracuda Challenge Q. Never heard of the brand before, but did a little bit of research before I um, bought it. It's got the rubber tip on the end, and it's also, of course, got the uh, tip there. I do like to, I always keep a spare little chalk, just uh, give them a little chalk before I sell them. Kind of make them look like as fresh as, fresh as I can, instead of just like sitting, like they've been sitting in the loft for like many, many years. Uh, also try and make sure they're not all like bowed and horrible because obviously it is wood, it does bow. Uh, the varnish can also wear off like it looks like it has done on this one a little bit, but I don't think that's going to affect, affect the value too much. I think it looks purposely done actually. Of course make sure it threads in properly. This is actually the first time I've looked at it so I don't actually know what it's like. It's a nice wooden thread as well so I think they're quite popular in the pool game. Very straight there. Uh, again, I'll show you souls on this one. I don't know if I'll be able to find the exact queue, but I'm hoping for a 25 to 35 pound on that one. All right, and the final pickup, which I think was probably my favorite of the day. Uh, I found it quite early, probably about quarter to seven in the morning. So uh, not many people on the field yet. Uh, I paid five pound for the lot. I'm, he seemed like a reseller, the guy. I'm not sure if he had tried to sell him already before and then just couldn't sell him because they weren't amazing. Uh, but yeah, he wanted five pound for the lot. So I picked him up. I'm sure I can make my money back. This is it here, the bundle I picked up. It's a whole bundle of Commodore Amiga games. I've sold the console before for about 160 quid, I think. That was years ago, back about well, three or four years ago when I first started. Um, I've never had the games before. They're like the old floppy disk. Back in your school days, you would have had floppy disk <laughs> from years and years ago. So we've got here about 40 games. Um, very happy with that. Paid five pound in the hope that one of them was a big hitter. I haven't done too much research yet, but I can see that each game fetches around uh, sort of three to four pound. But I'll probably just, I might even just um, bundle them all up together and then just sell them as an auction. Maybe start it at like a 99p auction, see what happens. But yeah, I'm hoping for about 40 to 50 pound back on these. All right, guys, so I'm just going to fast forward a little bit. Uh, it's about three o'clock in the day right now. Uh, here's the bundle of Amiga games. Uh, basically, I've been checking the solds and it's a bit of a fail to be honest. There's the solds there. You can see people are selling bundles of games for about £5 to £15 if I'm lucky. <laughs> so, unless there's something super rare on these, I'm not really sure. I'll put a, I'll put an auction up, maybe start at like a tenner and see where it goes. Uh, that one's in its original box, that's quite cool. But yeah, a bit of a fail, but still quite a cool pickup just for the, uh, for the sort of vintage game, you know, find. Right, as always, as it is Monday morning, I do like to show my weekend orders. Uh, I've, I've still got to pack them all up. Uh, so I'll pretty much just go through with you what I've sold now. It's been a pretty steady weekend, nothing too amazing. Uh, quite slow, to be honest. Um, would have hoped for a few more. I've had nine orders in total. So yeah, I'll pick them now and show you what I've sold. So we'll start off with sold on Saturday morning. This one, only $8.99, nothing amazing. I've already got it out of the box. It's just this little Canon camcorder remote. I haven't actually tested it or anything. I think it came came with a camcorder. Maybe it, I couldn't get it to work properly, so I just split it all out, sold the power cable separately, sold this separately. Always do that. Never just chuck the whole lot in the bin. Try and split it out if you can, because there's always little money to be made, even if it is just £9. So £8.99 plus £3 postage. Super Mario Bros. Um, on the Wii. This is Nintendo Selects. You can't really get much more money. I think maybe a couple of quid more. This sat around for ages and eventually sold for $16.99 plus £3 postage. This next nail is quite an interesting one. This one here, I picked up only uh, at my last car boot, or second to last, I think two or three weeks ago. It's been a bit rainy and I've had a week off. But yeah, this one sold for $29.99 plus £6 postage. It's a very quirky item. I love these sort of things. Never seen it before, I think it's from the 80s. I'll try and show you now how it works. It's basically you. I can remember. Unclip it one way or another. There you go. Yeah, you just pull the seat down like that. 
and it creates a little walking stick chair. There we go. Really unusual item, paid five pound at the car boot. I know it wouldn't sit around long. There's the brand there, Ivan Loss, I think it's made in Germany. Got all the markings on the bottom there. Yeah, pretty interesting. And that sold for 29.99 plus seven pound postage, so happy with that one. Next up, we have this little iPod here. Wasn't expecting this much money for this, actually. I picked it up from a friend from work. Uh, I gave him 20 quid, he gave me a load of stuff. Uh, pretty fair price for what it was. This is the iPod Classic. I have wrapped up already, but I won't, I won't get it out for you. You can see it there. Quite the bulky one, you know? Black screen. I'll show you it on the screen anyway, the sold. And that sold the next day after listing it for 59.99 plus, I think, five pound postage. I probably could have got a little bit more for this, but it was actually quite dented up, especially like round the, where the charge port is. There's like a little dent right next to it. I don't know how he's managed that, but somehow he has. Uh, yeah, and obviously the back, as you know, on all the old iPods, the back's just got completely annihilated with scratches just from them being on surfaces and spinning around and all sorts. Uh, but yeah, you can still get good money for them, so never pass them by at the car boots. We've got this here. It's already wrapped up. You can kind of see it there. It's like a micro Marshall amplifier. As you plug your electric guitar into it and obviously just put little batteries in and it'll work as just a little micro amplifier. Uh, that sold for £25 with £4 postage. I've picked up a few of these in the past. Usually pay around £2 to £3 for them. I think I paid three pound for that and yeah it sold for 25 pounds so again probably about 18 to 20 pound profit in there after fees and taxes so not too bad at all we have this lg combi vhs dvd player uh really popular i used to find these all the time at the car boots but i think due to us youtubers who actually keep telling people about them it's actually quite hard to come by them now uh <laughs> this one i got from a friend who was just clearing his house i paid seven pound fifty for this and 750 for a little CD player, which has actually sold as well. I'll show you that on the screen as well, because that made a decent profit. So yeah, you just wanted 15 quid for the two of them, just to clear some space. Uh, of course, I had to clean it up a lot and test it all, make sure it fully worked. Uh, do make sure when you're selling these combis that uh, it's not the transferable one, and make sure you list it in the in the description that it doesn't transfer VHS to DVD, because you will get buyers trying to get a bargain, paying just 50 pound for one that does that function where instead of paying the sort of 180 to 200 pound for the uh, Panasonic versions that, or whatever, Daewoo's or whatever they're gonna be, which do transfer the medias from VHS to DVD. Uh, yeah, so pretty happy with that. 54, 55 pound uh, plus postage. They always sell eventually, even these ones. People still wanna play the old VHS tapes. I don't know why, but they do. Uh, maybe it's old weddings or old family videos. But yeah, they're still popular. They do still sell. This one sat around for about a week or so. So always pick them up. It is a bit of a high risk. A lot of the time they don't work at all or the heads need cleaning. Uh, but you can. there's plenty of videos out on YouTube just to show you exactly how to do all that. And uh, next up we have these A6 Duo Max shoes. I paid, I think I paid £10 for these ones. They have actually sold once before. I think I might have shown that in a previous video. Can't remember at all. Uh, these ones, yeah, I paid £10 and they've sold for £30. So £10 into 30 nothing to grumble at. Probably around 15 to £20 profit in total. Um, after fees and everything like that. I think I did have postage on them as well, so maybe three pound postage on them. Yeah, so hopefully they actually stick this time with the buyer. They are lovely shoes. I don't. I think they were just too small maybe for the buyer the last time. Never passed up on Asics, brilliant running shoes. And next up, which is up here on the shelf. I'm actually really surprised this one is actually sold. I had it up for 35, someone offered 20 and it, and I took it because I just wanted it gone because it takes up a lot of space. It's quite cool, I, I, it's not it's not the original Grish or however you pronounce it brand, it's just a sticker on there. It's literally just a drum wall clock, you can hang it on your wall. It's just a little quartz movement in there. It does all work, I paid 10 pound at the car boot thinking I might be able to get 40, 50 pound for it. But obviously not, it's sat around for about 10 months now, I think I've had it. So yeah, I sold that for 20 pounds, so I literally doubled my money. After fees, probably broke even, not really worth it, but you gotta take that risk sometimes in reselling. Last up, you would have seen me pick this up from one of my very first charity shop videos. This is the Floating Friendship Finding Nemo Disney Traditions uh, little sculpture. That I paid two pound 54, and it has sold for 40 pound plus five pound postage. So I'm very happy with that. I did mention in the video, Dory's got a little bit of a chip on the fin there, so I probably could have got a bit, maybe £55 for it, I think, if it was um, in good condition, maybe with the box as well, ask a bit more money. Uh, yeah, I had it up for, fi for £50 and someone offered 40 so I took that, because it was sitting a little bit longer than I thought. I thought it might sell within a few weeks, but obviously it's been on for about three months now, so happy to get it gone. And that's gone GSP to Germany. I thought the buyer wouldn't have actually paid at all, because they took about three days to pay, and then finally 
I received payment this morning and I can ship that now off with all my Monday morning orders. So very happy with that. That is all we have for the orders, everyone. Thanks for watching. Uh, I do really appreciate everyone subbing the channel. I can't believe how much it's blowing up. I'm still, even though I'm not, I'm not really posting too many videos, I think I'm doing about one every two weeks right now. I'm just snowed under still with life. It's very busy right now. Uh, I am trying to still do the YouTube, so please keep watching and hit the thumbs up button. If you're not already, please subscribe to the channel. There will be more videos in the coming future. Uh, yeah, thank you and goodbye.